Welcome back to Zam Jack. We got Demolitionist Kakiri Forest Suicidal. It's episode 5 this week, which is like 188 or something like that. Wait, are we going to hit 200 this week? I don't know. We might. I genuinely don't know. I think we're on episode 184 going up tonight, so the first episode will be 185, 186, 187, 188, 189. For the fifth episode, we are not going to hit. We're going to get to like... I don't even know, 189? Or 198 or something like that? Something like that. We're not going to get to 200 this week, though, I don't think. That'll be, that'll be a next week thing. That's okay, though. It's a lot of episodes. Yeah, I'm just really tired. It's hard to talk and, and play. Gotta go visit the grandparents tomorrow. I don't want to talk about it too much, because uh, there's a lot of drama going on with it, because they're moving. I thought they were going to be moving way earlier, so, you know. Hey, but they are there. They, I believe they sold the house now, um, so they are definitely, you know, getting out of there. But um, it's sad, and there's a lot of drama around it because just people are being childish, and I don't know. They're making they're making it they're making it into too big of a deal when it's sad, but they're making it like that they're just turning it into something that doesn't have to be. It's all this drama. And I don't really want to talk about it because I don't want to throw anybody on the bus under the bus, but it's, uh, it's 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 been it's been very stressful. Um every time I go over there it's just it's a it's a it's a it's an ordeal. So it's, I haven't been avoiding it so much, but maybe that's why it's harder for me to wake up when uh, when I'm going over there because I just I'm so stressed about it and worried about it, and I don't like doing things that stress me out because I don't really, I don't know. My mental health is more important to me, so. Yeah, I've, I've, I don't have the best mental health in the world, so. I always like to prioritize it when I can. You know, you can, you can be, you can call it selfish, but. Sometimes you gotta be selfish, right? Sometimes you just, you have to be a little selfish and uh, put yourself first so that uh, you don't hurt the people around you. You know, I find a lot of people end up, like, uh, always putting other people first. Like, always worrying about other people's problems and getting upset for, for people they don't even know about. Like, they'll hear about, like, uh, some drama that happened in, you know, Michigan or something, and they don't even live in America. And they're like, oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. I can't I can't bear to, to read this. And they, uh, they just end up getting themselves, like, really depressed about it. And, uh... And ends up really causing stress, and then their mental health starts to degrade, and... God, you got thrown away. Uh, and that's just, it's not a good thing, right? I feel that, uh, I feel that you have to be selfish and, and put yourself first, because... It's not worth, you know, putting yourself through all this stress and... This worry and this concern for people you barely know, or even going closer to you for people you do know. You know, if it's going to be stressing you out that much, then it's, it's better to put yourself first so that, you know, you, you can be a stable thing for the people who do need you. And, uh, I mean, I guess I'm saying you need to ignore people, but, I don't know. Some, sometimes you have to ignore people so that you can help them. You know, you have to be indifferent to them, to their problems. So if it stresses you out too much, then it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You know, I, like, it's like, uh, if I start to concern, excuse me, goodness gracious, if I start to concern myself with every little thing that goes on in, in everybody's lives, um, like, I'm probably gonna end up getting, like, super depressed, um, because I just, it's so much stress worrying about all these things for all these people, and then, um, uh, I'll end up, you know, being 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 in a really bad position, I'll put it that way, like a, a super super depressed, suicidal, um, 
And it's just, it's not worth it, because then I end up, you know, offing myself or whatever, and the people who I was trying to help get even more upset because now I'm gone, and it's like, it's just counterproductive. So I put myself first. When, uh... You know, when somebody's, when it's not super important, like, uh... You know, my grandparents moving and, and people just causing a bunch of drama, I'm like, you know what? Cause all the drama you want. I'm just, I'm not gonna care. I, I just, I don't care. As long as long as, as long as the grandparents are happy and, you know, living their best life, that's fine. As long as they're healthy and happy and content, I don't, I don't really care. A little smack on you. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I find a lot of people, uh, especially like transgender people, who I've uh, who I've talked to, um, so I used to be involved in a lot of transgender communities. I'm not anymore because of this reason. Um, but they'd want to always be like up to date with all of the the drama that's going on with the trans people and knowing like how bad it is for all of the trans people out there and and being supportive for all the people going through all of these these horrible horrible things being you know attacked or. Or, or anything, right? And then they get super depressed and concerned, and I'm like, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. You don't need to concern yourself with all these trans people being attacked, because it's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's just adding more negativity into the world. Like, you can't, you're not there physically supporting them. Um, you're not, you're not doing anything. You're not being productive. You know, you want to, you want to, understand it and, and help work towards a problem like a solution or whatever and it's it's fine but I mean my solution is to be happy and then uh, not worry about what other people think and I mean not everybody can do that so you know there's kind of that problem as well but whatever I can do it and that's what I do I feel like you don't really want to use the RPG on these guys because they just. There's too many of them. It takes so long to reload the RPG, you know. Now we have to we have to take you out. Did I just reload that and like instantly? I feel like I did. Because I feel like the RPG was not loaded and then I switched to it and I hit R and then I switched back to the boomstick and now I'm reloaded again, which is very strange. Let's see if these come back down. Yeah, they do. Check that out. <laughs> How long do they take to come back down, though? Quite a while, eh? Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. Look at that. It's like a little delayed uh, airstrike. You know, I guess airstrikes tend to be delayed because you have to drive a dang plane over there, but... I bumped your leg. What you gonna do about it? I wish they took fall damage. So you could like launch them to the air and then they fall down and get absolutely destroyed. That'd be good fun. That'd be super fun. Why did you survive the RPG to the face? For real? If we can land this shot. Nope! I can't! Oh my good god. That's not the right thing. I wanted that one. It's okay. I forgive me. So these guys these guys don't die to a RPG to the face, eh? No, they do. Okay. Sure. Oh, yeah. I haven't had lunch today either, so I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> I'm going to go take a break at uh, a few more episodes here, like halfway through the day, and have, uh, have a bite to eat, cool down a little bit, and then come back to the recording. I don't know. Maybe. Cause it's just so hot in here. Oh, my God. Like, I have to have my window closed, and then my door closed, and there's, like, barely any air circulation in here. It's just hot. I want to get rid of the 
I'm gonna get rid of the, the insulation and put like a freezer pack around my room or something. I don't know. Are you down there? You must be, right? Look at that shot. Oh, yeah. Going that way. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was nearly the shot of the century. What, what, what did I... I got stuck on the stupid thing there. Oh, my God. It's scary fighting the King Flesh Pound because he's he's super strong and he has all this. Okay, what are we stuck on now? Okay, that's that's not good. He's too he's too low. Why do you get to be low? It's not fun. And a little RPG shot to the face. How do you feel about them apples, huh? Look at that. All right, one more, one more, one more shot to the face. All right. I'm getting better at demo. Feels good. You're just kind of like floating, eh? Money, anyone? Can you like launch him if I like hit him? The right spot. No, it just doesn't explode. Doesn't launch him. Too bad. Too bad. Alright, well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like it if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.